Hello and welcome to a realistic day in my life working a 9 to 5 corporate job. My workplace has a hybrid structure, so we are super flexible on when and where we work, which is a huge blessing that I do not take for granted. Today is one of my work from home days, so I'm going to be taking you through my entire day, including how I tend to structure my calendar, my morning and evening routines, and everything I eat in a day. This is just a genuine, normal day in my life. I'll warn you that I'm not the most interesting person on the planet, but I love watching day in my life videos, so I thought it might be fun to make one too. I try to keep my morning routine fairly simple. I am not a morning person by nature, but I've been trying to be better recently about actually getting out of bed immediately instead of rotting on my phone for like 20 minutes. So I generally make my bed every morning and do my few simple self-care tasks. I am not a skincare girl and don't often wear makeup or anything, so I pretty much just brush my teeth, brush my hair, and change into something for my walk. Andrew Huberman told me to get sunshine first thing in the morning, so I've started incorporating these morning walks, and I do feel like they're a great way to start the day. It helps keep me mindful and remind me that while yes, I want to be successful in my career, nothing that happens there is the end of the world, and I'm ultimately just a human being who deserves to be happy and simply exist without feeling the crippling guilt of not being productive enough. Okay, so with that, my Zen mindset and I enter corporate cyberspace to begin my work. I adore a to-do list, especially with old-fashioned pen and paper, so I like to write out my top priority items for the day first thing, and then I just start knocking out tasks. I wasn't really hungry this morning, so I didn't eat anything until lunchtime when I made my daily breakfast sandwich. It's not unusual for me to hyperfixate on a certain food or meal, but I think I truly just love a breakfast sandwich more than anything in the world, especially now that I found out how to make my own bagels. I'm telling you, I'm on a whole other level of bliss over here. You'll notice that I make an effort to get outside as much as possible throughout the day, and I find meals are one of the easiest ways to do that, so I will often eat my breakfast and or lunch outside if the weather permits, because we are just not meant to experience the level of screen time that we do every day, so I find even little breaks where you get to enjoy real life and the world around you can be incredibly healing and grounding. Since I was super on top of my game today, I grabbed some herbs from our garden on my way inside so that I could prep dinner before I returned from my lunch break. I made honey herb roasted turkey breast. One of the best parts about working from home is the ability to do things like this. I try really hard to eat healthy and it definitely takes more intense planning and intention to do so on my in-office days. I ended up taking about 35 minutes for my lunch break, and after that I went back to work for another few hours until I got hungry again and wanted a little snicky snack. So I cut up a peach and served that with cottage cheese, and once again stepped outside for the whole three minutes that it took me to eat that. And just like that, we're back to work again. If I'm able to, I like to put my deep work in the first part of the day because I feel like my brain prefers creativity and problem solving earlier in the day. So I'll do that work then and save the more admin type tasks like meetings and emails for the second half of the day. I also live and die by my Google Calendar, so I generally update this towards the end of my workday, especially if plans for the evening have changed like they did today. My boyfriend asked if I wanted to go golfing with him, so I rearranged a few things in order to do that. Once I logged out of work for the day, I was greeted with the lovely horrors of my kitchen sink, so I dealt with that before getting ready for golf. After we got back, I finished making dinner. The honey herb roasted turkey turned out incredible, so I was so happy about that. I also made rice, mixed vegetables, and gravy to go with it.
Once we finished dinner, I packed a lunch for tomorrow because I will be in office and then I put away the rest of the leftovers. Oh look, more dishes. They never really end, do they? I had the energy to rinse them out, but that's where I stopped with those for the day. I try to clean up as I go when I cook, but sometimes you can only do so much, you know? Remember, you're not a machine and we're all just trying our best out here. A dirty counter or a few dishes in the sink isn't the end of the world. After all that, it was officially sweet treat time. My new favorite thing is to make a batch of cookie dough shape into dough balls and freeze them. That way you can take out as many as you want whenever you want and have homemade freshly baked cookies with very minimal effort. While the cookies baked in the oven, I took a shower and changed into some pajamas, plated the cookies, and then finally sat down to watch a movie. After the movie ended, I got ready for bed. I read almost every night and often journal around this time as well, but I didn't this evening because I was honestly too tired. I feel incredibly grateful for a job I genuinely love and the flexibility it provides, but being an adult is still hard and it takes a lot of energy. So to all of you, whether you're struggling or thriving today, I wish you well and encourage you to give yourself grace. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. My name is Leah and I share content on minimalism, money, and lifestyle if you'd like to follow along for more.